Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can probably tell, I'm in a different place today. Uh, this is just the room that I'm that I'm in for most of the day when I'm doing school and stuff. Yeah, that's the freaking that's nightmare fuel. I might talk about that in a different video. There is an explanation about why it's here. Trust me. Oh uh, yeah, this is the rest of the room. The water pedestal. Um. Terrarium. More terrarium. Uh, so, that's it. Not much more to say about this room. Anyway, so, decided I'd make a quick video because of something, just, just a, an encounter today of pure stupidity. And it just... Uh, I had to make a video about it. So, th let me just set the scene for you. It's uh, quite... It's not particularly good weather, not particularly bad either. Um, uh, there's a bunch of shops. Me and my dad are just walking. We're going to a place that I call the, that we call the concourse. And we're just walking in. Uh, we're just walking around. And so, there's a... a post office that has, that does tats lotto, that accepts tats lotto things and all. So my dad walks in, and so I'm, I, I, and there's a bunch of rocks outside, so I sit on the rocks, and there's a footpath in front of the rocks, and so, and so I'm just sitting there, just, I don't know, staring off into space, not doing anything particularly interesting, it's just waiting, and I notice in my peripheral vision out of the corner of my eye, two bikes going along, just going along the footpath in the concourse. I think nothing of it. Two bikes, people on bikes, so what? People ride bikes. And it's basically, I'm just still staring off into space. And the, the two people with the bikes are coming closer, closer, closer until they're about a meter, a meter just to the side of me and they're still riding and they and they go hey alex or oh. it's like in, in voices that oh my god it literally if you hear their voices you just instantly know they have less than five than five brain cells it's like hey alex we know we, we know who you are so the first one the first person in front chimes in uh, hey alex we know who you are we know who you are like it, it's some kind of like almost almost trying to threat at me i'm not saying it's i didn't take it as a threat but i feel like that's what they were trying to get across like some kind of intimidation technique i know who they are i'm not going to mention their names but i've known them since year seven and they're just they're not the sharpest tool in the shed won't go into too much detail on them and so the first one comes in says that the second one comes in like those classic cronies you see in those movies Uh, sorry, I just had I had to go do something. Uh, where was I at again? So, oh, there we go. So, where was I? Oh, so, um, so the first one comes along, says what they said, and the second one comes along, and just like, just like those cronies you see in movies. Like, I think I mentioned, I think I said that before I had to go do something. But like those, like the classic cronies in those movies, literally says, yeah, Alex, we know who you are, like, repeats what the first person has said as if I didn't hear it the first time. And so, because I'm, st because I'm still staring at s into space, they ride off, like, they didn't stop, they just keep riding. It takes me, like, a good second to process this, just the sheer raw stupidity of sent in my direction. It's just like a blast of stupidity, and so I'm, I'm, I, I haven't think I haven't stopped staring into space. It, it, it just kind of caught me off guard, and so that just was a reminder of what I have to return to when I, when you know this whole isolation thing finishes. Uh, at least I've got my friends. Anyway, 
That's it, just felt like doing this because, yeah, why not? Anyway, that's all for that one. Have a nice day, have a nice rest of the week, and goodbye.